New at six, it is the end of an era in Uptown, but the beginning of what will soon be more construction. A big project for the Uptown Charlotte Mecklenburg Library and the main library on Dryon is being torn down to make way for a multi-million dollar project that will change the face of that part of Uptown. Fox 46's Derek Dillinger joins us live right now in the studio. Derek, this closure is the first step for something much bigger. Yeah, so we need to specify here this. You see right behind me, this is going to be the new library. The old library, though, will soon be torn down. We got a look inside of what's left to get and what's going to happen to everything from the quotes on the columns to the books. It's kind of an odd sight to see the Uptown Library kind of barren. Things are being moved out and essentially have been since the OK came down last year. But now it's real. Every time we walk in the door, something new is gone or has changed. There's art missing, there's furniture missing, there's technology pulled out. The Uptown location of the Charlotte Mecklenburg Library is something that has been a fixture for more than a century. The building, though, has not been there that long. So the original building opened in 1903, but that was actually torn down in the 50s to build something new that was kind of a basic office building and then expanded upon in 1989. This is how it looks now. This, by the way, is a scale model of the library after the 1989 renovations. But this is how it will eventually look as part of Spirit Square, set to open four years from now. But to do that, the old building, the one there now, will come down. How long have you been with the library? Since nine, September the 1st, 1988. For reference librarian Sheila Bumgarner, it's a full circle moment that is also coming with some affection to the place she's called work for more than 30 years. I've been hugging walls and, and some of the large uh, about pil pillars that are in the building but, and touching a lot of things, but yeah, it's very bittersweet. There is a legitimate question on why this is happening. The library is part of a larger vision and redevelopment plan for North Tryon, some of which is already taking place outside the library's doors. But more importantly, library leaders say the library itself needs an update. The renovations for what's there now came just as the internet was taking off, so it's not really up to date with new technology. The cost, $65 million in public money plus private funds. This comes at a time where, due to the pandemic, attendance has gone down, slowly coming back, but the need has gone up. What we're also seeing is increased need in certain areas, and so there's just folks who need the computer access, folks who are asking for facilities for uh, online job interviews. This is the reference collection starts over there and ends here, but these were mainly history and genealogy. There is a lot that still has to be done. All this still needs to be cleared out. What's in boxes right now? <laughs> So this is the progress that's been made on packing up the Robinson Spangler North Carolina room. And so they are getting all of the um, vault items, all of the archives, our genealogical collection all ready for the move. The boxes are still being filled up. The quotes outside the library, they'll be auctioned off. There were around 145,000 items in the Uptown Library. Some has been taken to storage. The rest will still be available, just not here for a while. All of the other items have been distributed throughout the system. So you may see fuller shelves when you visit Matthews or North County. Um, and that's just because we've had to find a home for all of these different items here at Main Library. And starting next month, there will be a number of events, including some tours of the building. This will all be before the demolition, which is set to happen sometime next year.